So now that our shop is all set up, we've actually been doing some things in here. Uh, Jeff has changed the brakes on his truck and I've been doing a little bit of woodworking stuff. Uh, my first major project was building some drawers for the kitchen island. So very simple, really basic stuff, nothing spectacular, but there was a bit of a problem with um, the outlets on, on the, the front side of the island. The, on one side, the drawer was, could fit all the way back, but on the other side, the outlet was like a half an inch too far forward for the drawers to fit. I bought, uh, I bought some 19 inch glides, so I made the drawers 20 inches because that's what it fit on the one side. So I go and I try to put the, fit them in and it doesn't go all the way in on the other side because of the outlets too far ahead. So I move the outlet back a little bit, enough to accommodate the glide, but I didn't accommodate for the length of the drawer. So it was like maybe a quarter inch sticking out the front by the time I had the drawer and the glide on. So I ended up doing a little quick fix. I will show you. So this is what my drawers look like normally. They're huge. They're 28 by 20. But the back corner by the outlet needed this done to it. So what I ended up doing was I just cut off the corner that went straight across here and just added a piece that went the full length of it. It's going to be in the back of the drawer, so I'm not really worried about what it looks like. But uh, yeah, that was my solution to the, to the outlet problem. I'm sure it'll work fine. I've test fitted them three times now, so I think, uh, I think they should be good this time. Urgh. So now, my drawers are all built. I need to get a second coat of paint on them, but I want to install my drawer glides. I might have to move that screw. I'm not sure yet. I have to do my figuring out. And uh, first I need my glasses. Okay, got my glasses. Got my square. Um, wait, measuring tape. Okay, what I figured already is that the glides need to be two inches down from this point here. Make a mark at two inches. Then take my square. I hope it fits. <sighs> Darn. I have to take out the drawer. Oh. Oh, so this square is not going to work. I'm going to have to go get the small square. Blah. I could just measure the glide, I guess. Is some weird number. So I'll just take the glide. The mark the bottom. Oh. Set that there. Mark I just made will be the bottom of the glide. So the front, this is the front. I'm going to just set this on here. So just at the front here. And put a screw in there. I think I take it apart. Okay, 
one. We'll put this baby back in there. Do the same thing on the other side. And once my drawers are done, we can install the drawers. My drawers are done and painted. I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it, so before showing you guys what I decided to do, I, uh, I did that one first. So let's get on with putting this one in. Okay. This lined up with the marks I made. screws in the other side, test it, make sure it closes fine, pull it back out, put the rest of the screws in. Should be good. Ta-da! Two very large, very handy drawers. Of course, I didn't waste any time filling this one up with stuff and full extension glides so it comes out all the way nice this one I actually have no idea what I'm going to put in this drawer over the last couple weeks the weather's changed a lot We've had a lot of thawing, so our puddle is gone. Jeff dug some of that out with his hoe, and it's thawed enough that most of it's drained away and gone now. But yeah, we've lost a lot of snow. Our mountains are small, and it's actually kind of quite warm today. Very nice. Hopefully in another week or so this is all gone. We built our door. We knew it was a little bit longer than it needed to be. So we had this groove in front of the shop that the door sat in. So Jeff hopped in his machine, got his bucket going, and pulled that down so that the gravel was nice and level in front of the door. And Cutter came by to make sure he was doing a good job. We have everything we need in the shop out of the storage tent. So now it's time to get rid of the rest of the miscellaneous things. Can you start the burn barrel? Um, I'm thinking about maybe starting that thing. Yeah, be better. There's an old wood stove for when Jeff goes up north moose hunting. Oh, did you? Yeah, just for this. and some leftover windows that we're probably going to use in the bunkie. Is 
and our summer tires for Jeff's truck and my car. I cannot wait to finally put these things back on. Is Mike gone? It is now. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing, we cleaned out this tent today. Obviously you've seen that footage. And now we're trying to dismantle it. But we dug out the snow and there's ice. So now we're trying to. The little flap that comes under is buried under all this ice right here. So we're uh, trying to get it out. And it's working, but it's hard work. Not that hard, I guess. <laughs> there. So after this, no more snow shoveling. Well, don't say that. I'm gonna get the machine out, spread it so it melts faster. <laughs> Shelter is down. Kind of opened up a whole new can of worms, but now we can see this whole mess back here. But I think that'll be a job for tomorrow. It's not very cold out anymore. I'm wearing a toque anyway, just because I'm wimpy. But uh, we're getting tired of looking at these snow drifts, so Jeff thought it'd be a good idea to get rid of them. <laughs> 